is there any anything you can put your finger on, or is it just too much maybe to just put on one thing of what happened today? Um, we we got to watch the film first. Um, but I mean, it's 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 complimentary football. Um, in this league, you know, you got to be on the same page for four quarters plus, and um, you know, it's momentum swings. We didn't respond the right way in certain situations. We didn't help the offense out in certain situations, and vice versa. So, um, you know, we talked about it after the game, like. It could have been a, a totally different game, but it is what it is. We lost. Um, we're two and three, and we gotta we gotta bounce back. So, um, yeah, we just gotta find ways to get better and improve and keep getting better. Um, focus on the process, and um, that's what we're gonna do. What kind of messages did you put forward to the team? Like when things were down, what kind of things were you saying to guys on the sideline to try to get the mind right? Yeah, I mean, just stay the course. It's, it's one play at a time mindset, and. Um, you know, uh, defensively, I, I don't think they even had 300 yards. Um, but there were certain situations where we got to make tackles, get them off the field. Um, we got to step up up front and make, you know, get them off the field. So it really just comes down to all of us collectively playing better football. Um, and, and then situationally, we got to be better. Um, third downs, you know, check downs to the, to the flat. Like, we got it. It can't be a touchdown. You know what I mean? It's simple shit like that that um, we didn't do well enough. And it uh, starts with me, um, starts with the leaders. And uh, we just got to find ways to you get better, and we're going to do that every single day. As a captain, what do you say when the team had so many unforced errors? Yeah, I mean, that's it's just discipline. We had way too many penalties, um, turned the ball over too much. We didn't take the ball away on defense. You're not going to win like that. You know what I mean? I think we had, we had 11 penalties. They had three turnovers. They forced three turnovers. We forced zero. You're not going to win on the road like that. So, yeah, they played well. you got to give credit to Denver, um, but we got to be better. And Max, Brandon talked about one of the first things you had to do every day is tackle. Yeah. Tackle, tackle. It didn't work out today. Surprised yep. at that? You said what? Surprised at that? On the Surprised? I mean, it's National Football League. You know, I mean, you got to tackle. That's really what it comes out to. You know what I mean? It's uh, there's no secret sauce to it. There's no science. We put the work in. You're not gonna be, you're not gonna bat a thousand. Um, there's no excuses. Shit, like we gotta we gotta tackle better. Um, period. So um, we gotta emphasize it. We gotta emphasize taking the ball away more. Um, defensively, you know, making making more plays, uh, game changing plays, be better on first down. Um, a lot of things to point out, but you know, we watch the film uh, and get better from it. That's all we can do. Max, uh, did, did the pick six by Sertan kind of swing the momentum? Did that affect the defense at all? For you know, soon thereafter, the rest of the game? No, I mean it shouldn't have. Um, at the end of the day, it's, it had nothing to do with the defense. Um, he made a good play, and you know, it was a big momentum swing for sure. Um, so. You know, as a defense, as a unit, we talk about being the engine, being, you know, that for the team. And uh, so regardless of the situation, we got to be able to respond. So, um, like I said, we got to watch the film. Um, but, yeah, we, we, we weren't good enough. Uh, we'll be better. Were you sure that you'd be able to go? My mind was already made up, I mean, on Monday, uh, to be honest. On Sunday, to be honest. But, um, yeah, I mean, we, my mindset was one day at a time. Um, and that's what we're doing, and we're still doing it. You know what I mean? I'm not 100%, but I'll keep getting better. Um, you no, know, didn't didn't re-injure anything today. Um, we're gonna keep keep working on it. You know what I mean? It's tough, but so it comes to the league. I mean, <laughs> at, the end, I mean at the end of the day, I've I've dealt with a lot of injuries, played through a lot, and um, it's bumping the road. You know what I mean? It's another test, constantly being tested. I feel like it's a story of my life. Um, but I love it. I live for it. So we'll, we'll be good. Are you able to appreciate Max when you play well and the team doesn't? I mean, I you know I still got to watch the film. There's things I could, I could do better, but no, it's all about winning. You know, it's all that matters is winning. I could have ten sacks and we lose. I'm not gonna be happy. You know what I mean? It's uh, you know, it's, it, it sucks. You know, I, for me, like obviously it's important. I, I want to be. I say it all the time. I want to be, be the best in the world at what I do, um, and I believe I am. And if we lose. Um, it's hard to get in that conversation, so got to find ways to win. Max, uh, you let it be known, even going back to last season, you're tired of the losing stuff. And, um, how are you able to just take it in stride, keep competing hard despite you know losses like these happening? You have no choice. I mean, that's it. I mean, you have no choice. It's week, you know, week five. You know, it's obviously it sucks. We didn't play well enough. Uh, we lost division rival. All that sucks, but. Um, it's how you respond. So that's that's literally all you can do. Um, so, yeah, of course, nobody wants to lose. Um, we got to find ways to win. That's, that's truly all that matters. We had a very emotional big win last week, and we had a tough loss today. So 
back to the drawing board, get better at 1% every, every, every day in every way. And uh, that's what we're going to do. How tough was it for you this week with all the Devontae stuff? Nah, it's, it is what it is. You think I'm I'm not used to this shit going on? But it is what it is. Been dealing with it my whole career, so um, it is what it is. You know, Devontae's my boy. I love Devontae. Um, and he's going to do what he's going to do. Um, praying for him. Wish him the best. Um, he's, you know, he's not healthy right now. He's got to get healthy. Um, but we're focused on the Raiders, you know what I mean? We're focused on who's here now, and uh, we're focused on winning. So got to find ways to do that. Actually, you said your mind was made up last Sunday. Uh, that you're yeah. I mean, it made it a lot easier with that we won. Um, I was going crazy at the crib, you know <laughs> what I mean? And then I got to hear these, you know, clowns that, that talking online and talking on the uh, Pat McAfee show saying, you know, I'm, something's going on and they're speaking for me saying I'm, I should be on the sideline when I got a high ankle sprain, you know what I mean? And these clowns, have, they're sitting on the couch talking about what I should be doing. But the, rea- the reality is I'm, ch- I'm gaining yardage and trying to get right so I can get back on the field. Everybody knows my intentions, and they try to speak for me when, shit, if you speak to me and you, you know what's going on, then we could have a conversation, but don't speak on my name, you know what I mean, when you don't know what the hell is going on. I'm there. Th- these guys know I take a bullet for them, everyone in this locker room. So when you got clowns that are online and talking on, you know, they got their one, one day of the week where they get to go on the Pat McAfee show and talk. Um, talking about what we should do and you haven't even been a GM you're a GM for one year so it's it's embarrassing you know what I mean don't speak for me I'm, I'm gonna speak for my guys um and that's all I, all I care about so I really you know I get bothered by that because I, I you know I take a lot of heat and I, I could do it you know what I mean I've been through that but don't don't speak about me when you don't know what's going on and you're speaking for me you know what I mean or speaking about the organization oh what something must be going on with Matt come on bro you know where I want to be. You think I want to be anywhere else? No. I got the shit tatted on my body. I don't want to go anywhere. So at the end of the day, it's it, it's just funny. You know, there's, you got a lot of people that, that have a lot to say when they really don't know what's going on. Just to that, like, what did it take for you not to play, like, from the coaches, from the other folks that are hired? Yeah, I, I, you know, it really came down to me. You know, at the end of the day, I, I didn't want – I didn't let. I wasn't gonna let anybody tell me I wasn't playing Carolina, even though I was literally fresh off my ankle sprain, and I had to feel that for myself. So I didn't want to feel like that ever again on the field. I didn't feel like myself, and I felt like in certain situations I was hurting the team, um, and that's tough. You know what I mean? I've, I've played through a lot of injuries, but like you got a pop tire. Unfortunately, um, I wasn't able to do a lot of things I could normally do. So you know, came together, made a decision. Um, we got the best people in the world working with me. We got amazing people in this organization that. You know, want the best for myself and the team, and um, you know, we, we decided it was the best to take a game off and t- use another week to get healthy. And um, you know, I'm in there every single day, all day, every day, trying to you know get get to 100. percent So that's what I talk about when you talk about everyone acts like they know what's going on. It's just it, it makes me laugh because they don't they have no idea. You know what I mean? So it's it's just funny. You guys all good? Thanks, man. Appreciate it.